In this video, I will go over the M157 engine from AMG. It was featured in most AMG cars from the early to mid 2010s. The M157 engines powered the whole range of 63 cars except for the C63. I will start by going over the history and development of the M157, the different versions of this engine, and I will later discuss some of the issues that come up with these engines. The M157 was an important step for AMG. With the success of the naturally aspirated M156, AMG went back to forced induction for its VA cars, as previously seen with the M113K VA compressor cars. However, instead of supercharging, turbocharging was used for the M157. The architecture of the M157 is directly based on the Mercedes M278 4.7 liter by turbo engine. Now what the M157 did is it increased the displacement of the M278 to 5.5 liters in the M157, and that was due to a larger piston bore and stroke. The M157 features an aluminum engine block and cylinder heads. It has a forged steel crankshaft, forged steel connecting rods, and hyper-eutectic cast pistons. The first piston rings on this engine have a diamond-like carbon coating, a technology adapted from racing engines. It has a compression ratio of 10 to 1. This V8 engine is operated by 32 valves, each with roller-type followers. Hydraulic cam adjusters allow fully variable valve timing for both intake and exhaust cams. The hollow exhaust valves were filled with sodium for optimal heat dissipation. Also, for the first time in a V8 engine at AMG, direct fuel injection was utilized. The M157 features two Garrett MGT2260 MSL turbochargers, with peak boost up to 19 PSI. The M157 also features water-to-air intercooling. The M157 weighs 204 kilograms dry, which is similar to the M156 it replaced. The red line of this engine was only 6,400 RPM, which was lower than its predecessors. Now, despite the 5.5 liter displacement of the engine, all models that had this engine were designated as 63 for marketing purposes. This engine was hand assembled in Affalterbach, Germany, just like its predecessors. Now all of these engines were mated to the AMG MCT 7-speed multi-clutch automatic transmission, and this was essentially a 7G Tronic Mercedes transmission as seen before, but now instead of a torque converter, it featured a wet startup clutch. The promotional release of the M157 engine was in March 2010 at the Geneva Motor Show. AMG gave tribute to the 300 SEL 6.8 race car with the S63 AMG 35. It had the M157 with 577 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. And this served as AMG's show car for the year, promoting the M157. The engine was released for sale for the 2011 model year in cars like the S63 and CL63. It became available in the E63 for 2012. The power output of the M157 has a wide variation due to multiple different levels of ECU tuning. Base model 2012 E63s had 518 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, but 2014 E63s with the performance package got up to 577 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. Performance pack SL63s got up to 664 pound-feet of torque. Peak torque was available as low as 2500 RPM on this engine. Now, you can tell that you are looking at a performance package car if you see a carbon fiber engine cover instead of a plastic one. The M157 engine was produced until the 2019 model year, where it was last available in the GLE 63 AMG. The rest of the AMG lineup slowly changed over to the M177 4 liter V8 by turbo engine. The M157 has proved to be a strong performer for AMG. E63 Formatics with this engine easily ran mid 3 seconds 0 to 60 times. The M157 had a tunable engine that could put out even more horsepower and torque from tuners like Weistech and Rentec. This engine was AMG's first turbocharged V8 and yet it did not compromise greatly on the exhaust note that AMG is known for. Other manufacturers struggled to make their turbocharged engines sound muscular and natural, but AMG figured it out with the M157. No. 
With turbocharging, the M157 won't have the immediate throttle response of the older engines from AMG, but it is still a more efficient design in terms of emissions and fuel consumption. Now I will discuss some issues associated with the M157 engine. This engine is generally known to be quite problem-free outside of some rare issues, but they are still worth noting. Early year engines such as 2011 and 2012 had timing chain issues where the chain could potentially stretch and become noisy or damage the engine. The chain was updated around 2013 with less chain links that were thicker in size. This can be checked from under the oil cap. The updated chain is a darker color. Some early cars will already have the chain replaced and this new timing chain is associated with quieter running of the engine. So if you're looking at an M157 car, this is definitely something to check out. There is also an issue of engine rattle after startup. This noise was attributed to a lack of oil pressure in the secondary timing chain tensioners. Mercedes issued a bulletin in December 2015 for replacement of these secondary tensioners. The seal on the cam position sensor can leak oil. This doesn't sound very serious, but in some instances, the oil will go through the sensor, down the wiring loom, and can reach the ECU and potentially damage it with engine oil. The part number of the sensor changed and they are up on screen. 2011 to 2013 cars are probably gonna have the old sensors, so it's worth to have a look at this. Another important thing to consider on this engine is the spark plugs. Mercedes issued a technical advisory on the importance of using the appropriate spark plugs and torque specs to avoid risking damage to the engine. The fuel injectors are also important to look at as well. While it is a rare occurrence, the fuel injectors can stick open and damage the engine. If M157 cars are tuned and pushed really hard, they can start to slightly bend the connecting rods in the event of an engine knock or misfire. Although, if the cars are stock or lightly modified through a reputable tuner, this shouldn't be an issue. Other common but more minor issues with this engine are that the engine mounts tend to wear out faster than other cars. So overall, the M157 successfully moved most of the AMG range back to having forced induction. The engine does not have as much character as the previous M156 and M113K engines that we've seen from AMG, but considering the greater constraints on emissions and fuel economy that the M157 faced, AMG created an excellent power plant that put the brand ahead of the competition. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.